Welcome everyone to Sucker Beach. Before I start this, I need to tell you what the plans are for the current time. I finished Undertale, as you've probably seen. If you haven't, you should go watch it. Um, next game I was going to play is Final Fantasy VI. But, to record Final Fantasy VI, I either need to do a lot of editing to make a border that looks nice with the game. I don't have like any experience with editing, so I would not be able to keep up consistent episodes. Like I have, don't really have a lot of time to record anyway. It all depends on when I sleep. Or, something I notice I could do is, I could set on my screen where it records, but I would need to shape the window with the game to fit exactly that location. Every time I do it, so it's not just once, it's every time I open a game I need to reshape it to fit that size. And you wouldn't guarantee me missing like a couple pixels at the bottom of the screen, which would probably annoy people. So, I decide uh, I'm going to do the editing thing. Wait, if you have any experience with recording VBA games or if there's some other simple solution to uh, how I should do things, please let me know, that would be helpful. Until then, this is Sakura Beach. I saved some Sakura games to record. I guess, well, they're fun. <laughs> e. Some of them don't have terrible stories. If you haven't heard about them, so the Sakura games are visual novels, as in, you're a person, there's pictures of other people, and then they talk. It's not, no actual gameplay, it's just talking. Or voice acting, yes, I'm going to read what people say. And they're usually kind of skimpy clad girls. And you end up in situations. Let's just call them that. So, I thought, why not? Let's start with this. This is easier. I can upload this while I work on the Final Fantasy stuff. And as of right now, I think I'm gonna release this on every other day, instead of every day, like I did with Undertale. So without further ado, let's start the game. Start. Here I am again. Uh, drifting through the stars. Nebulous, galaxies, black holes, rushing post me in a, uh, past me in a blur. This is where I spend most of my time, with my mind wandering through space. It's here that I try to understand what I can never hope to understand. A universe that is so vast that it is beyond human comprehension. It cannot be measured by any means we have right now. Just seeing the sun and the moon cycle around our planet is enough to leave me in awe. They both cycle around the Earth according to invisible forces which are immediately powerful. Immeasurably powerful. This is the miracle of existence. Everything we see is made from a random sequence of events. Events which have been flowing. Okay, uh, preferences. Music is still too loud. Turn. Why is this so loud? Everything you see is made from a random sequence of events, which have been flowing into each other. It has been this way ever since the beginning of time. But for now, the dragon sequence of disaster is leading me into... me into disaster. Stop daydreaming, idiot! I'd rather prefer myself for another scolding. Why do you keep doing this? Even now you're doing it! We still have so many bags to move up to this hotel room. Hotel room. You honestly don't expect me to do this by myself, do you? 
It was always been so bossy. Wait. Okay, that was not what I intended to do. I wanted to look at how bad the yep. Okay. Amy's always been so bossy. She's far too proud for her own good. Does she actually like me as a person or not? I don't get it. Sorry, I'll hit right. Sunder. Welcome to it, Sunder. You better! You've only been standing there for a few minutes with your head in the clouds. My head goes a bit further than that. Not in clouds, Ayumi. Of course! How could I forget about space? Whatever. Just hurry up. Come on, Ayumi. Stop bullying him. He's such a good boy, after all. Don't you think he deserves to thank you for getting all of our bags up here? Of course it's an um, admirable effort. I give him that. But I'm not bullying him. He's standing there like a... Statue when he should be moving. Boops. I can probably guess which one of these two I prefer. Now he lies daydreaming. It's not daydreaming. I'm pondering on the mysteries of the universe. It's so adorable you talk about that, Seiji. I swear, you always protest in the same way you always do. Some part of me dies a little bit every time she calls me adorable. It's more like I'm a fluffy little dog than a person to her. It's not adorable! He looks like an idiot! Come on, Ayumi. You know that I like it when he does that. Most certainly do not like you. Okay, Miss Thunder. So why did you wait for a minute before, in before calling me out on it? <laughs> No reason! I just want to see if he learned not to do that by now. I'm sure it is the reason, Ayumi. I'm sure. So have you gotten all of your bags yet, Seiji? Not yet. I'll do that right now. Do that now. Thank you. I know it's a big favor to ask for. Don't worry about it. You're always so nice, Seiji. I promise I'll make it up to you during this trip. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more, say no more. Please, please. Please, please. I already told you not to worry about it. Not such a big... You know what? Okay, I'll see you next time. That makes her proud. That makes her proud. Come on. Don't you want to do something fun with me? How about ice cream, like we used to do? It's doing my treat. Don't forget that I have somewhere I won't... I want to go too, Seiji. You're not going to get out of it so easily. Alright! Alright! Amy! I'm sure I have to time to go with both of you! Yes. Why not do a Papyrus voice? Because I love Papyrus voice. <laughs> They're always pulling me to go somewhere. Monologue will still be my voice, but I'll do Seiji in Papyrus. Ayumi mostly used me as a pack horse to carry things. As for Makoto, she always drags me to do a very string things with her. Ooh. Not the nonsense though. Aww. Whenever she wants to buy new laundry, I'm the first person to drag along. Sounds like friend zone deluxe. I have no idea why. It's almost like she has no sense of shame. Looks like I get it every time it happens. Makes. The looks I get every time it happens makes me die a little bit inside. Let's not rush off to do anything just yet. I know we have to settle in and everything first. By the way, Seiji, I know you're going to love my swimsuit. Also, the reason I've picked this game... Bikinis. It's called Sakura Beach, for fuck's sake. I have a bad feeling about this. I just know she's going to be showing off as much skin as possible. What about you, Ayumi? How do you think... Think you did with your swimsuit? Ah, uh, what do you mean? Come on, we spent. Qu -qu Quiet! There's no need to talk about that. Is there something I should know? N no, of course not. A swimsuit we were very dignified. Something to be proud of. That's that's not what I remember seeing. Huh? Ayumi moves faster than a flash of lightning prevents my code from speaking. 
I heard it slap. Don't go there. Don't go there, okay? I have a reputation to upload. Hey, she's also a YouTuber. Anyway, I really need to grab those facts now. You two, just do whatever you do. Make sure, make sure to get out my clothing bag first. Mine too. How am I supposed to tell which bag is which? Oh well, maybe if I just grab all of them at once. That might work. Dot dot dot. Lots of dots. It takes me about half an hour to get all the bags back to, my, to a room. I'm not exactly unfit, but going up and down the stairs with such heavy bags, my legs feel like they're going to snap in half if I put any more weight on them. Neither of them held for the bags, but I'm not worried about it. Always did my friends favors. I know both of them for such a long time. It's funny how time just passes without you even noticing. One day, I was only meeting these two for the first time. Now later, a decade later, we're here. As only really know that I gave it any thought. You should be proud of your little kid self. I guess we humans are a very contemplative species. It's all about the here and now, not the past or the future. I don't really plan to sit in this altar room and waste all my time thinking about the past or either. There's plenty of time for that when I get home. Ayumi and Momoko have cl climbed the larger bedroom, leaving me in the tiny bedroom in the corner. Well, duh. They insisted that they had to share a room together and that the other bedroom wasn't suitable. Well, if you have two rooms, two girls, one guy, and one of the rooms has a bigger bed, is there any even kind of debate? Okay, you should take the blonde and then do fun stuff every night in a big bedroom. And the son can just lay in the bed and feel bad about herself. Two of them have been inseparable for as long as I can remember. I guess when you're together for that long, you get used to each other's company. What I'm really hoping for is to share is to share a lot of moments with him on this trip. There's nothing more value there's nothing more value that's memory valuable. Should I say it says value? It's nothing more valuable memories created with the people you care about. There's nothing with more value that memories created with the people you care than this is written terribly. <laughs> On another note, I can't help but notice how quiet it is. But even in the room. Hello? Anyone there? I knock on the door several times. There's no response at all. They already leave the apartment. What would it leave without me though? Ayumi! Mako! Mamoko! Are any of you there? I begin to open the door. I'm really worried that I might not find them. Yep. Hi, Bikini. Well, I found them. Momoko stares back at me in horror. Lying there, nothing but her panties and bra, her eyes go. Okay, can someone explain what's the difference with a bra and a bikini? I thought this was a bikini. Okay, yes, the texture. I can't tell this in this anime thing. Seiji! What on earth are you doing? I reach for a nearby pillow and clutch it to her chest, but I don't know if I said if I can watch it in She only caused her chest to spill over the top of it, nearly to the point of making it escape from the confines <laughs> confines of her bra. No! Stupid perverted pillow! She tosses it at me. That pillow is going way too fast. I barely duck in time, looking back at where the pillow hits. A massive crack in the wall show. <laughs> oh my god! For a moment, a cold chill goes down my spine. <laughs> If that hit me, I would have died. <laughs> I can't think about that now. Diffuse the situation, Seiji. Ah. I, I, sorry, please forgive me. This is a horrible misunderstanding. Seiji, this is so embarrassing. Don't look at me with those perverted eyes. I don't think I'm going to be able to handle it. My virtuous and maiden has been taken from me. How can you live with yourself knowing this, Seiji? Don't you think that's a bit dramatic? I think that only makes things worse. You shop lingerie together! How is it embarrassing now? 
As she flays around trying to find something to cover herself, I hear something go snap. Oh no, please don't tell me. Her bra falls away from her chest. Seems to all happen in slow motion. The bouncing that happens in response. <laughs> Boom physics! Even light novels has them. The gradual look of horror overtaking her face. And the sink sinking feeling that I'm not going to live to see another dawn. Her face screws up as she prepares to unleash a cry of despair. No! Don't look, don't you dare look. Pure thoughts. Momoka immediately palms chest to her hands, but it's too late. Out! No! Need to go out! No! With one arm, she grabs another pillow and aims it direct at my head. I'm too slow this time. Punk! Hits me with enough force to easily make someone's skulls crack. The impact sends me flying out of the room. Before I know it, my vision fades into blackness. Well then. I come to all... I come to after a while with the worst headache I've ever had. Headache. Momoko is a lot stronger than she looks. She could have probably killed me if she wanted to. I know that it looked, it looked bad but she doesn't have to assault me over it. How long have I been out for actually? Surely they'll be finished dressing by now. Also cautiously I knock on her bedroom door. Be cheerful bright by Who is it? Come on! You know who it is! No, no. You aren't who I think you are. The person that I would just charge... Would just charge him without knocking first. He's such a silly person, but that would make him so adorable. Very funny! So you turned dressed yet, or are you... Are you ready to head to the beach? Maybe. What would you prefer? Would you like me to show up in only my panties? She's so pissed. <laughs> That's not the case at all! I'm sure this is silly. I know she's pounding like she usually does, even though she's hiding behind her bedroom door. Typical! You seen that just to pretend that he wasn't being perverted before? Moka steps out of the room. She's already in her swimsuit, ready to- This is smaller than what you had before! Seriously, why? Ayumi! Are you ready too? There's no response from her. Ayumi! Come out! I know you're out there! Is she hiding from me? There's no, there's no need to be embarrassed, Ayumi. Come on, show yourself off. Meekly, Ayumi crawls out of her hiding spot in the, on the balcony. I know, it's an orange bikini. So terrifying. How will you ever live down with the shame? She's also dressed in her swimsuit. Her face can be a brighter shade of red. There she is, all ready for the beach. She looks cute, doesn't she? I have to admit, when she does, doesn't have her nose up in there, she can look really cute. How do I look? How do I look, Seiji? Did, did you like my swimsuit? It's not as if I care about your opinion, I'm just curious. It's not like I like you or anything. Seriously, try to make it a bit less obvious. I'm a bit taken aback when she asks me that. Normally, she doesn't care what I think at all. Okay, I know I sound like a terrible person, but I feel like this is a choice between I'm. Um, uh, we have Thunder, not my type, and this. We have Blonde, more cheerful person, with this. You can probably think which one I prefer. It does look cute! Did Moku help you pick it out? No! I'm the one who choose this! Why would Momoko, Momoko pick it? Oh Seiji, you think so highly of me. Don't forget about me, How, do I look good too? Momoko never misses an opportunity. Yes you do! Yes! You do! I'm sure you're going to attract a lot of attention! Might be a nice character who will notice you! Both of their faces turn extremely sore. Papyrus, you need to step up your dating game. <laughs> Look at me with contempt. What? What did I say? Did I do something to offend them both? Was there something that I missed here? I'm 
You do? Why are you making those faces? No, 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 spawn. Girls! You do? Hello! Just stare at me. Sorry if I said something to offend you! I have no idea what it could be though. Mocha stops being sour and smiles at me. Apology accepted. Come on, Ayumi. You got to forgive him too. I forgive you, stupid. That hardly sounds sincere to me. Oh well, Ayumi always was the grumpy one. She said thunder. Now then, we're wasting time standing here. Especially you, silly. Today's not going to be a day spent in space. What do you mean? I don't dream you went about the beach! Very nice. Stare at boobs! Yes! Boobs! As enticing as thinking about space while listening to the ocean would be. No, no. I better not tell myself. Momoko seems to be read by false at the matter. There you go. Your head's somewhere near the moon right now. Make sure you grab a space rock on the way back to Earth. Asteroid! You know what I mean, silly. Grab one big enough to keep you from drifting off the surface of our planets. Don't worry! I wasn't planning to run away! Good. I'll see about that, Mr. Daydreamer. I'd had a villainous scum like you will break their promises. Isn't it a bit harsh? Is Damien Vellwell a scum? Not of what you did to Momoko before. So let's not waste any more time. Didn't he knock on the door before he entered? He like shouted it. He like shouted at her and stuff at least. Or was it his fault that they don't pay attention? Bring that sunscreen and let's head off to the beach. Before I can even say anything, Momoko showed her out of the room. There's me and Ayumi standing there awkwardly. Y you know what I call you idiot all the time? Uh, uh. I don't really mean it, you know that, right? I'm not that actually dumb, I, I think you're pretty smart, really. Uh, um, uh. It's okay, Yumi! I actually think I can be really dumb sometimes! This really is papyrus. <laughs> I let out an awkward laugh. <laughs> it's alright! It's alright to call me out on it! It's alright to call me out on it now and then! I know that I let my faults wander! She might not seem like it. Amy actually really, actually, is actually really nice. For whatever reason, she tries not to act like it. Should we get going now, please? Sure. We threw ourselves slow. Her up already. We're going to miss the beach if you stay in that hotel room forever. Well, looks like I can't afford to stand here any longer. Time to go enjoy the beach, I suppose. I miss out the door before I am. And with that, guys, we're gonna end off this episode. And this last one. Okay, return. I hope you'll enjoy watching this series. Like I said, I'll be working on making the Final Fantasy work as quickly as possible. But time is hard to find, and. I need to teach myself to edit things. So until then, enjoy Sakura Beach. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.